19 Awesome Facts About King Cobra One of the most feared and revered snakes on the planet, the King Cobra is renowned for its imposing size and deadly bite. But it also has plenty of other unique qualities, a distinctive voice, remarkable nesting habits, and a name that obscures its true identity. Before getting start please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get more interesting videos. 1. A Growling Snake When threatened, king cobras spread their hoods to make themselves look bigger and raise their heads as high as 6 feet off the ground. But those aren't the only threatening tools in their arsenal, they also use sound to intimidate. Threatened kings take a deep breath and then rapidly exhale, forcing a burst of air through the tracheal diverticula in their respiratory tract which acts like a resonating chamber, resulting in a sound that one scientist compared to the growl of, an angry German shepherd. It's much scarier than your standard issue hiss. 2. A venomous bite. Drop for drop, king cobra venom is less potent than that of some smaller snakes, such as Australia's inland taipan. But when it comes to toxic chemicals, quantity can trump quality, with a single bite, a king cobra can inject as much as 7 milliliters of venom, almost enough to fill 1.5 teaspoons, into its victim. Different venoms do different things to the human body. Many vipers, for example, have venom that targets the victim's circulatory system, destroying red blood cells as it spreads. But the venom of a king cobra inhibits communication between nerve cells, which can cause extreme dizziness, blurred vision, and, often, paralysis. Unless the right antivenom is administered quickly, a human bite victim can die within 30 minutes. Their venom is powerful enough that a single bite can kill a 12,000-pound elephant in just three hours. 3. The king cobra is the longest venomous snake in the world. This native of South and Southeast Asia normally grows to be somewhere between 10 and 13 feet long, but the biggest ever recorded was an individual from modern-day Malaysia living at the London Zoo in the mid-20th century. From end to end, the animal measured 18 feet, 9 inches long. 4. Technically, they aren't true cobras. Despite that common name, king cobras are not classified as true cobras, which belong to the genus Naya. The king cobra is the sole member of the genus Ophiophagus. Genetic evidence suggests that these big snakes are more closely related to the mambas of sub-Saharan Africa than to true cobras. Physically, there are many things that set king cobras apart from true ones. Kings have proportionally narrower hoods than Naya species do. Ophiophagus's head is larger relative to its body size, and at the base of the neck, king cobras have a pair of matching, elongated occipital scales, which are absent in Naya cobras. 5. Snake Eaters Most true cobras have a varied diet that may include lizards, birds, rodents, and fish. But the king cobra almost exclusively dines on other serpents, a fact that's reflected in its genus name, Ophiophagus means, snake eater. They're equal opportunity eaters, devouring harmless rat snakes as well as venomous krites, various true cobras, and other kings. Not even pythons are safe although king cobras apparently can't swallow constrictors that exceed 10 feet in length. King cobras will also eat eggs and the occasional monitor lizard. 6. Males wrestle. Like many other species of animal, male king cobras fight over females during breeding season. First, the snakes size each other up, raising their heads as high as 4 feet off the ground. Then, they wrestle. Bodies intertwined, the snakes try to pin one another to the ground. There's no biting involved, these snakes are largely immune to their own venom. When one of the participants is finally pinned, he leaves. 7. King Cobras are mainly active during the day. While many true cobras are crepuscular, King Cobra's snakes are diurnal, meaning they're most active during daytime. After sunset, they take shelter under logs, buttress roots, or termite mounds. 8. This is the only species of snake in the world that builds nests. Snakes, by human standards, are not model parents, 70% of snake species lay eggs, usually in a convenient hole or crevice, and many will abandon their clutches immediately. But the king cobra is an exception. The reptile builds a nest. First, the female gathers leaves, using her coils as a makeshift rake. After she lays 20 to 30 eggs in the middle, she gathers more leaves, layering them over her clutch the decomposition of the leaves helps keep the eggs warm. 
The process can take four full days to complete, after which the female curls up on top of the nest for the next two or three months until the eggs begin to hatch. Females don't eat the entire time they're guarding the nest and are unusually aggressive, lashing out at pretty much anything that comes too close, but just before the eggs hatch, they take off. 9. Babies, and some adults, are banded. At birth, baby king cobras are just around a foot long and, with alternating black and whitish yellow bands running the length of their bodies, are more vibrantly colored than adults. As they grow up, most snakes gradually lose the bands. When fully grown, king cobras have an almost solidly brown or olive color scheme though the snakes do have faded yellow bellies. But not every snake goes solid. In Myanmar, adult kings tend to remain banded. 10. A long life. King cobras are predators with a highly effective hunting method, coupled with the fact that they have very few natural predators means that in the wild they can live for an average of 20 years. In captivity, away from the stresses of the wild, they can live for considerably longer. 11. Climbers and swimmers. While kings do most of their hunting on solid ground, they can often be found hanging out in trees and will occasionally stalk their prey high above the forest floor. One individual which had been fitted with a tracking device pursued a pit viper up into the canopy of a South Indian forest, climbing more than 65 feet off the ground in the process. And while no one would describe them as semi-aquatic snakes, king cobras have been known to swim for short distances. 12. Opposites. As a general rule in the world of snakes, the females are the ones that grow to great sizes, while the males are considerably smaller. However, with king cobras it's the opposite way round, with the males being up to 6 feet longer than the average sized female. 13. Quiver in terror. Many animals have rather quirky and interesting collective names for when they congregate in groups. For example a flock of crows are known as murder, and a group of owls are known as a parliament. If you should ever encounter a group of king cobras then the correct term to use is a quiver. 14. Dry bite. Not every bite from a king cobra carries the chance of death. They often engage in a form of behavior known as dry biting. This is where they'll bite with their fangs as normal, but refrain from injecting any venom. 15. A charming snake. With its impressive hood, the king cobra is the favorite among snake charmers. Contrary to popular belief though, it can't actually hear the music being played as it can only pick up vibrations in the ground as is deaf to sounds traveling through air, but it still dances to rhythm because it follows the movement of the instrument. 16. Non-aggressive. While they may look ferocious, king cobras are actually very shy and try to avoid confrontation whenever possible. They slither away at the sound of approaching humans and only attack if there's no other option. Few people are ever bitten, and almost all of the victims are snake handlers. 17. Slow Metabolism True to their scientific name, king cobras mostly eat other snakes. However, when their favorite prey item is not available, they'll turn to rodents, birds and other reptiles for food. Their slow metabolism means that just one significant meal can keep them going for several months. 18. No Chewing like all snakes, king cobras have very flexible jaws and are able to swallow prey larger than their own heads. The jaw bones are connected by stretchy ligaments, so the lower jaw can move much more freely than in other animals. 19. Hunter and Hunted. Their venom makes them extremely dangerous, but there are predators brave enough to try and make a meal of king cobras. Crocodiles, colonies of army ants, civets and mongooses eat the young, and mongooses continue to hunt them into adulthood. They are able to do this as they're resistant to the cobra's venom due to an evolutionary quirk that means their cells are the wrong shape for the venom to latch onto. That's all for now. If you liked the video please give us a big thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. And stay with us for more updates. Thanks for watching.